All right, Kyler, thank you. We now know more uh, about what police found in the burned home on Irene Vista in the center of a sequence of violence that left two people dead and EMTs and firefighters shot and wounded. Nine on your side's Craig Smith has more on this new information. Search warrants can tell you a lot about evidence found in a case and they can tell you about theories detectives are pursuing. Now a warrant package tells us more about the case against a man in a sequence of violence that involved a home burned, two people dead and first responders shot and wounded. The case centers on the now burned remains of the house in the 2100 block of Irene Vista. Neighbors ran to help when they saw it was on fire. They say a gunman appeared who seemed determined to shoot anyone trying to make sure anyone in the house escaped the fire. He was stalking me. I felt that I was next. Luis Bravo was grazed by a bullet but lived. His neighbor, Corey Saunders, died. Shortly before, someone shot both emergency medical technicians in an AMR ambulance that was standing by in nearby Silver Lake Park. Police say in both cases, 35-year-old Leslie Scarlett was the man with the gun. Now search warrant documents reveal what detectives found in the burned house on Irene Vista and in the suspect's car. They show detectives recovered projectiles, basically fired bullets, from the burned house in the 2100 block of Irene Vista, along with more ammunition and cartridge cases. The warrant documents do not mention whether the woman found inside was shot. Autopsy results have not been released. Detectives also searched Leslie Scarlett's vehicle and found spent cartridge casings there, plus an ammunition magazine and other items. What is often more revealing is what detectives told a judge they were looking for when they requested the search warrant. In that request, they said they were looking for ignitable liquids and containers to hold them. Also computers they planned to search for evidence Scarlett was researching methods of arson. The documents do not mention any conclusion on whether that fire was arson. Investigators were also looking for communications that would shed light on Scarlett's relationship with the woman presumed to be the person found dead in the burned house. Detectives said they were also looking for any communications from Scarlett regarding the house fire in January at a home directly across the street from the site of Sunday's fire. Scarlett's mother died in that fire, and neighbors have told us Scarlett was still very distraught about that incident. Police say Scarlett rammed an officer's car near the fire scene, then began shooting at him. The officer returned fire, wounded Scarlett, and ended the threat. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.